So, and I got to the top, and I'm picturing it in my head, you know, because music doesn't come from your hands, it ends at your hands, it leaves you at your hands. Uh, so, the music is happening everywhere before your hands. So, in your head, you're hearing the music before it happens. And what I'm hearing just can't be done. So, uh, I'm hearing the, the thing extending and continuing. Uh, and at that point, I'm out of notes. And there's really no way to get them. So I just started looking at the guitar. I'm like, wait a minute, what the, what the fuck? All right, so we're, what are we doing? We are taking lengths of guitar string, and we are shortening them by means of pressing them against a metal fret on the neck. But just because our assistant, this neck with frets behind that string, ends at a certain point, it doesn't mean that your notes do, and there must be another way to access it. So then you gotta back up and say, all right, the string, how does the string work? What is the string? What makes it do what it does? So let's just jump into that real quick, kind of quick. Not just 10 waves per second, you all know that stuff, right? The waves, the sound waves, when it goes a certain amount of times, we call that the frequency, and we signify it with HZ, 110 hertz. That means 110 waves per second on the string. Everybody go, ah. Your larynx is opening and closing 110 times per second, letting out 110 little puffs of air to make it go that fast that our ears register it as that tone. So an octave is any multiple of any specific frequency. So 110, let's say you're gonna knock it down, cut it in half to 55. Where did go? Nothing, okay. 110, let's go, let's double it then. 220, there we go. If I don't hear enough of you, I'm just gonna do that for the next 30 minutes. One more time, everybody. Way better. That's, that's Birmingham now. All right, let's double that. You get 440. Good. All right, let's double that. Tough crowd. Shit. Let's double that, 1760. <laughs> and we could keep on going forever. At least until the dogs fall. So, the way the guitar is arranged, the way the string is actually arranged, is that when you have the vibrating length of string, let's say our open A, 110. If you cut the string exactly in half, that halfway point, if the guitar was set up correctly, will be your 12th fret. And that is where you will find the octave. So the 12th fret, or we could say 12 frets higher than the starting point of any vibrating length of string is half the distance of that string, it's half the length of that string. And what happens is when you cut the length of string in half, one over two, the frequency doubles, two over one. And that happens with any length of string that, that you make a little fraction of. So let's say you do one third the length of string. You'll find that over your seventh fret. And that's how they knew where to put the frets is by doing all this kind of stuff. So that is one third the length of string and it's three times the frequency, 330. So, 110, 220, 330. Now the other place you will find the next one third breaking point of the string is 12 frets higher than that seventh fret. Why? Because two thirds of one half of each other. We know that 12 frets is one half of blah, blah, blah. Good. Okay, now if you go one quarter the length of string, that is your fifth fret. And it is one quarter the length, four times the frequency, 440. And the same thing happens with the other three quarters, which are thirds. So that means that one is going to be seven frets higher, and one is going to be 12 frets higher. Okay, and then we're going to go up to one fifth the length of string. That's where your fourth fret is. And that is one fifth the length, so five times the frequency, 550. And this is how they figured out I'm going to put them all on here. So, okay, we could just back up and all you need to know for now is that one half the length of string is going to be 12 frets higher. And more importantly, and I will explain why later, 
12 frets higher is one half the length of string. Okay. So, <laughs> cut it in half and double it. So, all right. Anyway, back to where we are. This works for not just open strings, but any closed note. If you are holding down the fifth fret of a string, if you want to find a half the length of that string, just go 12 frets higher. You know this. But keep in mind that is not only 12 frets higher, it is half the length of string. And what is half the length of string? Your octave. That's the important part. As well as 7 and 5. And that's how Eddie Van Halen. Well, that's like hitting the harmonics. I'm doing a shit job of it, but that's how. Okay. Um, yeah. So, half the length of a vibrating chunk of string is where you will find the octave, which is also 12 for higher. So, why does this matter? Because now. We're going back to that song where it's like, all right, I need these notes that are beyond the fretboard. How do I get them? Okay, well, all you have to do is back up. All right, so I want to go. Nope, we go. There, and then we divide that length in half, and we look down, and Instead of pressing the string against a metal fret, I keep a metal mobile fret in the shape of a thimble that I can press against the string. Because what you want to remember is everything is obvious. If it goes like this, it goes like that. One plus two is three, two plus one is three. All that kind of uh, So. Simply, instead of hitting the string against the fret, you hit this against the string, and it'll do the same thing. And that's where that comes from. So in that song, what I was doing is once I ran out of frets, this became my fret that I would hit down in all the spots that I needed it. And that's how I was getting those extra notes, by hitting this down. 